all right, I felt like it was important to go ahead and put a video together about wall tags. So we're working on one of two projects, either the reserves at Maplewood or the reserves at South Plains, which this is an apartment building clubhouse. So I'm going to zoom in here and show you what I'm talking about when I talk about wall tags. So if I come in here on the floor plan, I'm just going to zoom a little tighter in on this upper left hand corner. You'll see these little hexagons with some numbers in there. So that's what type of wall it is. And of course, that corresponds with these different wall types. And so for this particular project, it could be one of four walls, a P1, P2, P3, or P4. So then in Revit, that's what we're going to do is open up our floor plan. If you take a look at it, I've got a floor plan here created. I've got my walls created. And now I'm ready to tag it. So to tag it, I come over to the annotate tab on the ribbon. Come on over here. You can use either one of these two. They work just a little different, but they do the same thing. I'm going to show you tag by category today. So I'm going to go ahead and click on tag by category. And of course, you want to look at your options bar here. So this is how you want the tag to be oriented, horizontal or vertical. You click on tags. That's your loaded tags. So you could also be tagging windows and doors and anything else that you need to at the same time. I'm going to scroll down here to walls. And I'm going to see I've got two options here for wall tags. I've got a half inch and I've got a quarter inch. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on the half inch for now. And we're going to see what it's going to do. Go ahead and hit OK. I do want a leader on this because that's the way it is on the floor plan that I'm copying. So now I'm ready to come in here and actually place some wall tags. So I'll place a few different wall tags in there and then just come up here and click on modify. So it put my wall tag in, but it didn't put any information in there. And it didn't put any information in because these are type marked. And currently on these walls, we don't have a type mark. So if I click on one of the walls, so this is my P2 wall. I can click on edit type, come in here, come down here under identity data, and I can find type mark. And I'll type P2 in there, hit OK. And that will take care of that wall. I can do the same thing on this other wall. So this other interior wall is a P1. Click on edit, come down to identity data, and I can type a P1 in there. And now when I come back, and start tagging the rest, you'll notice all the P1 walls will automatically show up as being a P1 wall because it's a type mark. So it's the same for all walls compared to being an instance mark, which would be data I would enter just for this one particular wall. And so you'd enter your instance data in these properties where your type data, you go through edit type and include it there. All right, so this is all well and good, but these are diamond shapes. And we had hexagon shapes. So if I click on this, my only other option was a quarter inch. So I can switch to a quarter inch and it does not fit very well. So I need to go and load some other tags. So if I come up here to insert, come on over to load family. It takes me out to my hard drive where we've got all of our family data listed. And so I can look through annotations and I can look through my architectural and I can find wall tags, and it's still just a diamond shape. And then for us, uh, I've given you a few other kind of custom made families that we've worked on over the years. And so you should have this miscellaneous SATC folder on your hard drive. So if you go in here and look down through here, there's no wall tags. But if you look at SATC wall tag, there's one that's a hexagon shape. So let's go ahead and open it up. It'll load it into our project. Now we can select all these. So we can select all of our wall tags just by selecting the entire floor plan. So clicking a point in the upper left, dragging it down to the lower right, click on filter, and we want to filter everything out except for our wall tags. Hit OK. And now we've got another option here, this SATC wall tag. So we can select that. It changes them all at once. Just click modify to clear that. And that should do it. That'll get all of your walls tagged like that. So you can use that particular family, tag those walls. And I think that's probably all you need to know about how to tag walls in Revit. So good luck. Thanks for listening.